The National Youth Service Scheme (NYSS) on Tuesday held an orientation program for over 190 young people drawn from across the country. The significant milestone marked the 15th batch of the NYSS in its drive to empowering young people and creates an avenue for training in skills development. Our Baikor attended the event and he files in this report. <laughs> The National Youth Service Scheme initiative aimed at empowering the youth and equipping them with essential skills for them to become self-employment. Participants are expected to undergo a rigorous two-year skills acquisition training program, which will be followed by a comprehensive one-month orientation program and is been conducted by experienced instructors from the Gambia Armed Forces and the Gambia Police Force at the NYSS camp in Bakao. Minister of Youth and Sports, Honorable Bakari Wai Baji, so delight on behalf of the government of the Gambia for showing inclusivity for young people from different backgrounds. That again we have shown our inclusivity by ensuring that we have young people of different backgrounds. Some who are from the hard of hearing, who in otherwise don't get to have these kind of opportunities. But here again we're having young people who are migrant returnees who are also given the opportunity to have a second chance in their pursuit for success. But we're delighted also that we have young people who are in conflict with the law and were incarcerated at one time, but having come out and come and join this program with an intention to have a proper rehabilitation. But I'm more delighted that again we have women, or let me say ladies, outnumbering the boys. And I'm not very sure, but probably this would be the first time that we are having more women than men in our recruit. Executive Secretary, National Youth Service Scheme, Abbas Ba, expresses satisfaction with the ongoing training being conducted by Gambia Armed Forces instructors and Gambia Police Force. The Chief of Defense Staff and the Inspector General of Police, when we sent letters there, they were able to send these fine officers to come and join the training. We want to inform you that since they arrived, they were able to execute their duty very well. And we are very pleased with the way the training is going at the NYSS. We're hoping that with this type of training, we will instill discipline, commitment, loyalty, and patriotism to the young people of this country. Once they graduate from the NYSS, these people see themselves as Gambian. The 15th batch displayed sense of optimism as the young corps members comprises of able and disabled, showcasing enthusiasm and dedication towards their personal and professional growth. National Youth Service Scheme Board Representative Aji Sainabu Jalo said the training is an opportunity to gain skills that will be useful in their lives. Opportunity to gain life, life skills that are not only needed for the next steps of the core member program but it will be useful throughout your life. Um, this month, orientation month, will be a very difficult time as you will be away from your family and friends. But you also need to bear in mind that to achieve great things in life, you have to be willing to step away from your comfort zone. So I therefore implore you to, to make the best use of this opportunity and learn the skills that you will utilize at every stage of your life going forward. I also encourage you um, to stay the course, make sure you're, you're, you, stay, you sit through the entire program for the two years and know that um, the government has really had to put a lot of money into this to ensure that you gain the relevant life skills uh, to be able to also contribute to your own self-development but the development of the country at large. The National Youth Service Scheme stands committed to nurturing a generation of skills and entrepreneurial individuals who will not only contribute meaningfully to society but also pave the way for a brighter future for themselves and their communities. More than 190 COP members stand poised to harness their potential, embodying the spirit of innovation, resilience and determination. Through their collective efforts, they strive to emerge as empowered individuals ready to make a lasting impact on their communities and beyond. As the end of this initiative, the participants are expected to produce individuals in their respective communities as their training with NYSS expose them to become job creators. <laughs>
reporting for Star TV News. I am Baiko.